Hello, and uh, once more, welcome to Bear Man's channel. Uh, this uh, video is to show how I formed the diaphragm for my TMJ. Now that is the diaphragm all formed. Uh, the material used is beryllium copper. The beryllium copper is, um, I think, one of the hardest non-ferrous metals. Um, very springy. It's very difficult to form. I've tried all sorts of uh, means of uh, forming it. Uh, you can see here I've got various dyes that I've tried different times uh, without any success. Anyway, the, the only uh, method that I've been able to get any success with is by having a disc and placing it between two steel plates, metal on there, rubber on the top, another disc on the top, clamping it all up. The first thing you have to do is to punch a hole in the middle. Concentricity is very important with the TMG. Everything has to be concentric. So the first thing is to make a nice accurate hole. No good using a drill in my opinion. Drills don't cut round holes. So I use a punch. And all I use here is a piece of high speed tool bit which I grind up in the grinder so it's slightly concaved at the end so you get a nice shearing action. And I just use one of my old dies here. Is, um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I do. Well, there now I've transferred my uh, one of my discs, steel discs, to my drill press, and put in the um, the tool bit, and aligned it so that it goes up and down nice like that. You see, so I don't have a dedicated press. I just have to um, I think I've got it right right. Just check. Yeah, I think we're okay there. So I'll just give it a good sharp there we are. Nice round hole. Now having punched the hole, it's now time to uh, to drill the the holes around the uh, circumference. And use for that, I have a disc here which I've used many times before. So I've, I'm lucky; I've already got a disc which is divided up into uh, actually I want 20 hole 20 holes altogether. So um, I shall use this. And the beauty of this, you see, once you've got that nice clean hole, you can use your uh, locating peg, if you can find it, which I can't at the moment, here we are, use the locating peg, put it in there, now drill the holes, and it's all going to be nice and concentric as I keep emphasizing I find the best method of drilling the disc is to use a slocum drill or center drill drill the first hole then put a peg in there to keep the, they'll keep the disc and then you can go around in your drill press drill all the holes which I'm going to do now I put a backing on the of a piece of uh, MDF, or you can use anything really, just to um, so you got something nice and even to to drill into. Well, I've now uh, drilled my holes, so I'm going to pull out the peg now, pull it apart. Whoops. And there we are. 
nice, uh, nice circle of holes. So now there's going to be a bit, uh, it's raised a bit of a burr on the back which I'll have to re remove some, with some uh, Just raise a bit of a burr there. I'll take that off with some uh, abrasive paper. Okay, so all ready for pressing now. Having uh, made the holes, the bird doesn't look so pretty on the back. I've scratched up there with my abrasive paper. Anyway, there it is. All ready for pressing. So make sure all the dirt, make sure there's no dirt on your die, otherwise you're going to have holes in your diaphragm. Remember this material is only five thousandths of an inch thick. So uh, any, any dirt, any little bits of uh, metal that you've picked up off your bench, if that's there it will make a hole in the material. So now we put rubber discs down. And this is the, the final piece to go down. Well, the next thing now, after some difficulty, getting all the bolts lined up, etc., it's all ready now for uh, for tightening down. And. Uh, I use as much force as I possibly can. Pull the bolt as tight as I can and then as I don't have a the facility of a uh, torque wrench I, um, I measure the distance between the plates with my vernier and make sure they're all tightened down to even distance and do them as tight as I possibly can and then uh, after that, I take the whole lot outside, put it on, out on my in the garden on the grass. I put a, a, a lump of steel on the top, a small lump of steel, and I give it a very hard blow with a big hammer. Now, whether that does anything, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping it does. But anyway, that's what I do. I give it. A, I put something on there just to protect my, my press. And then I give it a good hard blow with a hammer, and uh, then after that, gradually undo the bolts a little at a time. Otherwise, if you release the pressure on one side, you're likely to distort the metal because the, the rubber is going to come in because the rubber will be squeezed out. It'll come in if you, if you let it out too quick, it'll come out one side and bend your. Uh, diaphragm so I'm gonna give it I'm gonna I won't film it being uh, done up tight I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do that and uh, let you see the results well there it is all tightened up you can see the rubber is spewing out the side here and uh, so it's um it's really pressed hard now because it's, it's pressed the um, the metal right into the groove in the die, I hope. So I'm going to take it out into the garden now and give it a hard blow uh, with the um, with the hammer, and uh, then I'll take it down and let, let you see what uh, what the results are. Well, now I'm taking it down now, loosening off the bolts a little at a time, all the way around. Gradual process. Otherwise, uh, the rubber will come in from the sides and uh, distort the diaphragm. It's as well I didn't show the video of me striking it in the garden with the hammer because the head came off the hammer. 
So that saved me that little bit of embarrassment. Well, we've now come to the moment of truth. So we'll uh, keep fingers crossed now that everything's okay. There we are, there's the diaphragm. So now I have to just clamp it, put it back in the die again and then clamp it between two discs and put it in the lathe and trim it to size around this so is that the um, everything is as I've said before, everything must be concentric. So um, Make sure I put this one the right way around. Yep. And we're just going to put it back in the lathe, trim it off, and that's the final thing done. And that's, and that's, this is what you end up with. One of them. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find it interesting. Bye.